today I'm doing the spooky, scary writing tag. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I write children's fiction. Today, as is pretty obvious, I'm dressed up in the spirit of Halloween with DIY elf ears and this kind of elf dress, which is also my prom dress. And as is also obvious from the title of this video, I'm gonna do this spooky scary writing tag which was created by Emma Fink. Before we start, I want to give you just a quick overview of my work in progress because uh, some of the questions are geared towards my writing process in general and some of the questions are specifically about my work in progress. I'm currently, I think, on my fifth draft and my story is an adventure story that follows two piglets who hunt for their first pirate treasure. Okay, let's get into the tag. Question number one, ghost. Have you ever originally put a character scene theme in a book and then taken it out? Yes, 100%. I have cut out so many scenes and I don't have any scruples doing it because I think it's just part of my writing process since I'm a pantser. So <laughs> my original draft might have many scenes that don't actually contribute to the overall storyline. So I just throw them out. And with characters that has happened as well. Um, only minor characters though, I would say. Question number two, but most misunderstood character in your work in progress. I'm going to take this question literally and say that the most misunderstood character in my book is a little piglet who is very smart and always comes up with solutions to riddles and problems. But when she does, she gets so excited that she has trouble forming coherent sentences, <laughs> which means that literally nobody understands her except for her twin brother. Question number three, jack-o'-lantern. What's your most common source of inspiration to write? Hmm, that's a tough one. Um, I have a video on how to come up with ideas for your book, so I'm going to link it up here and also in the description box down below. And I think for me, most of my ideas come from finding solutions to problems. So basically I create problems for my characters and then I have to find out a way um, to kind of get them out of it. And this just gives me new ideas and kind of gets my process flowing. Question number four, zombie. Preferred form of writerly fuel, coffee, tea, etc. Uh, yeah, I try not to snack while I write because it gives me greasy and sticky fingers and I don't like that and also I know that I will just mindlessly snack and never stop and that's not healthy and I don't really like hot drinks so just water. Question number five, vampire. Cheesiest trope that made it into a novel. I of course try not to include <laughs> cheesy tropes into my novel uh, even though like what's cheesy and overdone kind of depends on individual preference. So anyway, I guess my sibling relationship is very harmonious, which some people might interpret as cheesy. Question number six, spider. What's a character in your work in progress that's fine from afar, but you would not want to interact with if they ever got close. Obviously the villain in my book, but he actually looks pretty impressive and scary from afar as well. So maybe he's not like an acceptable answer to this question. So I guess I would go with a character that's called Walter Warris and he's the cannoneer on the ship. So at first he's like kind of chill. Okay, actually he's kind of lazy and that would probably lead some people to underestimate him, but his aim as a cannoneer is excellent. Question number seven, Frankenstein's monster. Did you ever combine two characters into one or split one character into two? So before I answer, I just want to mention that I think this is such a good question and such a clever way of using Frankenstein's monster in this tag. So I love it. Yeah, so I have done that before. 
Um, I basically had a parrot who was kind of advisor to the captain and a giraffe who was the lookout. But then I noticed that just generally my cast was too big for a kid's book. And also the roles weren't very clear. So what I did is that I just didn't include the giraffe and the uh, parrot character serves both as a lookout and an advisor to the captain. Question number eight, skeleton. Best tips for adding in character baggage without info dumping. I would say just make it relevant to the scene. So don't tell the reader that this character has baggage, but instead have them react to a certain situation in a very certain way that is informed and shaped by their previous experiences. Question number nine, cat, just like me. <laughs> What's a polarizing writing or bookish opinion that you have? I have a whole video on this topic, so I'm gonna link it up here and also down in the info box. Question number 10, demon most frequent writing distraction. It's not really a distraction, but being too tired and not prioritizing writing enough. Okay, so this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to Emma Fink for creating this really fun tag. Feel free to do it, of course, in the comments or on your own channel. Consider yourself tagged. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also come to hang out with me on all of my other social media. I will link everything down below in the info box. My handles are at catsburlingbooks pretty much everywhere except for Twitter where I'm at ksburlingbooks. I will see you next time. Bye!